Okay, so the Lang, I, I, look, I haven't seen you in person since you got back to Ohio. How long have you been in Ohio? Uh, I've been here since the springtime. Springtime, so it's good to have you back. Mm -hmm. How good does it feel to be at the OEC tournament here, just seeing what everybody, seeing everybody, seeing some old faces? Um, just probably one of the most unbelievable experiences. It's so cool to be a part of the wrestling community here in Ohio, um, connect with not only unbelievable great wrestlers and friends and their families again, but you know, know that I've been helping out a lot of the different programs that I grew up in and how they've evolved and formed and changed and changed locations or a new program at a, the same school. And I just feel really grateful and humble to be a part of it and help the kids and give back the way that it was given to me, whether it was wrestling technique or a certain kind of workout or learning how to cut weight or what to eat or how to be encouraged or um, you know how to be intense and you know come and compete it's just so cool at a young age to see you know everybody's kids and kind of relate and see what remember back what it was like growing up in Ohio Ohio wrestling is the best I, I feel like I've done a lot of traveling and been a, been a part of a lot of wrestling communities at this point and there's just there's nowhere like Ohio wrestling. So we just watched uh, Jet Jaggers, Jay Jaggers' son, right? Yeah. And you and him used to compete against each other, you and Jay, right? Yeah. Work out, train, whatever it was, yeah. right? Yeah. What's it like? Is it kind of surreal for you to see it come full circle and see a guy that used to compete with, now his son, we're watching him wrestle? Uh, it's like, it's like magical because, so me and Jay were little opponents but after we wrestled each other, we started working out together. And it was just like, you know, we could, we should probably talk together and tell stories about it maybe one day. Maybe I'd like to see it. Did the fur fly a little something. bit? What? Were there some good scraps? Oh, my goodness. I, I mean, I would say that Jay probably was the best person I've ever worked out with and hung out with and the camaraderie, you know, even with his, his dad and Firebirds Wrestling Club and... Uh, there's a small group of guys that we kind of accumulated together and just related to each other and overcame our own adversities together and had fun and trained and talked about technique and uh, just connected on a level that helped our careers and school and family and, and sort of like, you know, see his son wrestle and just cheer Actually, him on. Actually, look it's over your so right cool. shoulder. Look over your right shoulder. There he is working with him, right? He's talking to him, right? It's kind of crazy to see it, isn't it's it? It's so beautiful. It's right? Yeah. It's an awesome thing. So you got something like that. I mean, you get to see that. Now he's working with his son right in the background of the video as we're doing an interview. It's kind of crazy opportunistic of me, yeah? Yeah, very good. You said I'm a, my own producer, but I don't know. Maybe this is more uh, more of a blessing than I thought it would be. Yeah. But, um, you know, Fear to see that, you. what's that like? What's it like to be able to come and see something like that, see him work with his kid and see all these people's kids, to watch them? I, we said surreal, right? But it's like yeah. time just goes so fast, right? Oh, yeah. It's, it's just down to earth. It's it's. It, it's less surreal than just like real and uh, it's cool to see like the generation t generation and actually be involved in it like as it's happening and um, just you know feel really humbled to be a part of it and, and feel like there's like a you know like a higher power working through people and to connect through wrestling and you know make people you know have build character and have cool experiences, you know, around the sport of wrestling and, you know, family-oriented tournament like this is pretty cool. So you were in two of the most populated areas in the United States for, you know, five-plus years each, right? Chicago area, Chicagoland, and Evanston, right? And Northwestern, and then obviously Southern California. How do those places differ from being in Northeast Ohio? Oh, man, I can go on and on about some of the differences and similarities. Um, for me, it differs just in the sense that, you know, this is, this is where I grew up and this is where I developed wrestling and these are the people that were there for me and have always been and, um, you know, people are there for me in other areas and I learned a lot about wrestling and I gave back there too, but, I mean, there's just, there's just an extra layer, you know, Howard Ferguson talked about it in the edge, just like an edge here that, uh, a little bit more, a little bit more time, or a little bit more effort, or a little bit more willingness to like, you know, pay attention to the kids, or uh, just it's just, just something. There's some, there's an edge here that's just no, nowhere else on earth. And 
and I don't know, you know, how to explain that. It's, it's kind of can't put it into words, but you know, for the sake of this video, we can try. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So being back in Ohio, right, it's, it's not LA. It's not Los Angeles County. It's not Riverside County. It's not Orange County. And that's like the area you lived in, right? Yeah. That's madness. 10 million people in those three counties, I believe I just said. Yeah. It's a lot of people. More than 10 million people if we actually went and looked. Um, do you like it being a little more open, no, less traffic? Do you enjoy that about Northeast Ohio? I think it's amazing. I love the drive up here on the Ohio Turnpike was just so cool. Listen to music, have a couple conversations on the phone. Yes, yeah, not the very green. Yes, the air is nice to breathe. Different. I'm surprised there's not more snow. Yeah, it's coming. <laughs> it's coming. Uh, yeah. What What are you doing as far as like you say you bounce around the programs? Your brother Kyle and uh, wait, which brother was a state champ for Rexville? Kyle. Kyle. And then your other brother is. Troy. Troy. Troy was he was a state placer for him. State placer and played so, football. He made the the USA All Star team for football. Actually. Troy did. Yeah. And then Kyle he is the compound and everything as a senior. And they're both. Kyle's actually a doctor. Kyle's a doctor. An art. Uh, uh, university uh, hospital. In ER. Room. ER doctor. ER physician. That's crazy. He graduated. Dude, from I remember he was a junior high kid. Yeah. I feel so old right now. And then Troy is finishing up as a physician's assistant. Is that right? Uh, physical therapy. Physical therapy. Degree. He's been shadowing at Metro, at Metro Health Hospital. And he'll probably work at the hospital too. With physical Who, therapy. Who's the brains, mom or dad? <laughs> I'd like to say that I bet your mom I've or your dad. Influence. I think my mom and dad are both really smart. No, they obviously are. Yeah. You're a direct product of that, <laughs> right? That's like that's crazy. Like what yeah. you guys have all been able to do. What is your actual degree from Northwestern? Communications degree. Communications degree? Yeah. So it's, it's really hard to get into Northwestern. Yeah, it's pretty tough. You're a smart guy. Yeah. Okay, what's I'm the big, you're, you're a cerebral guy, you think a lot, you understand technique. What do you think the biggest thing you can give to like a youth wrestler, a middle school wrestler, a high school wrestler right now? Because you know, you wrestled at such a high level and you fought MMA. How can you help coach these kids and how can you help get a kid to the next level? Just, just keep coming back. Keep asking questions. Uh, keep learning. I would just tell them that, that, you know, it's okay. Don't get down on yourself. Ask everybody the same question and see what answer you like. Uh, watch your own video. Uh, show up the next day. Uh, keep hope alive. And just, you know, never stop working hard. It's, wrestling is the hardest sport on earth. I mean, no doubt about it. And so even if you show up every day and you learn one move your whole entire life and you score one point in one match, I mean, you're just an overall badass for practicing, for doing a push-up, for going for a walk. So I would just tell them, you know, just keep your head up. How many fights did you actually have? I had seven fights officially. That's five and two. Five and two? And then how many, were there any professional fights? Yeah, five and two. Oh, you were you were professional. You were five and two professional. Yeah, Did you, you probably had a lot more amateur then, right? No, I never took any amateur fights. You know, training, sparring in the cage with UFC champions and all kinds of unbelievably skillful mixed martial artists. That for me, and you know, amateur wrestling was is way tougher than an amateur fight. So I, I didn't, really didn't feel like it was necessary to take amateur fights. If I was going to fight and put myself out there and risk, you know, yeah. you know, injury, I would want to get paid for it. How does your body? Is your body good? Yeah. Shoulders, good. knees, elbows, uh, hips. Totally good. I've had a couple knee surgeries, tore my ACL, MCLs, and meniscus, uh, but yeah, I'm good. I work out with the guys, college to little four-year-olds. You so. still roll. I Listen, I give you a big bear see. hug. I gave you a big bear hug, and I'm like, dude, you feel the same. Do you feel like you're in as good a shape as you were in college? You look like it. No, not even close. There's no way, but, you know, I'm in good enough shape that I could help somebody or give back or, you know, give a good little period. A couple, couple I'm, good you, drills. You can still wrestle, stop it. <laughs> uh, what are you, like 70, 170, 160? Um, uh, what are yeah, you? Yeah, in the 170s, maybe. 170? I haven't stepped on the scale. So if you were to I fight, it'd be 155? I was Were you fighting, fighting at, at 45? Oh yeah. my god! You're a monster! Yeah. Oh my god! 
All right, we got some wrestling to watch. Do you have anything else for me? I, I could go all day with you. I love I know. talking to you. I, I know. love giving information for the sport or a story that could help somebody or inspire somebody. So, yeah, we can, we can stop, but you can talk to me anytime. Okay, how do people get a hold of you if they want to do private training? Where can they train with Ryan Lang in Northeast Ohio? Just call me. Call me, text me, hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, send me a message. Come up to me, say what's up. I'm you, here to help. At what is the? Give me, give me something. Give me an Instagram uh, account. Just my name at Ryan Franklin Lang. I, Ryan Franklin Lang. Yeah. That's how we could find you. My on. number is three one zero eight. You're giving out numbers. You don't have to give out numbers. Six three nine. I don't think anybody got that. That's good. Too I'm gonna sexy. keep. I'm gonna keep that broken up. Hey, thank you for the time. Good luck. I'll be looking forward to hopefully bringing my kids to your camps. Seeing you. Hopefully, we'll see you at Burnett's. We'll see you somewhere. Yeah. I'm, I'm a, at a different wrestling club every single day. I love Anywhere it. Anywhere that I could be. It's so much fun. I love it. Hey, thanks for the time. Let's go watch some wrestling.